So I've got a bit of a disaster. I was having a play around with uh, sort of 3D models. This isn't a true 3D model. Um, just a quick and dirty um, rendition. Uh, but what I wanted to do was try overlaying uh, engra uh, laser engravings over the top of 3D models. So um, I did this here and I engraved and it looked pretty good. It, um, it looked all right. Uh, then I uh, cut it out and I put the varnish on it. Now here's where the problem started. The engraving was so light that when I brushed the varnish on, I also brushed away all my dots. So this is nowhere near as good and as dark as it should be. The dots were obviously little bits of carbon that uh, had sat on the surface of the material that the laser put there but they weren't burnt deeply enough into the wood. So when I brushed it, it brushed them all away. This is something I'd never even thought of possibly happening. So the problem is now, can I reset this here back onto my table and run the laser over it again? To do it, it needs to be perfectly aligned. I need to find the exact center of this here, but not only that, I have to have its rota angular rotation exactly right question is, is it possible? And can I do it? These are the things that sort the men from the boys. <laughs>
it's putting on uh, darker areas here which is good so um, I'm just gonna leave it and um, come back a bit later and see what's going on So we're up to the bit that uh, has me worried. I don't know how good or bad this is actually going, but uh, we'll just have to let it continue and see what the result is. So for those of you not familiar with this here, this is an air assist. Uh, there's air blowing constantly down through there. It does two things. It keeps the uh, any smoke away from the lens. And the air blowing down on here as well also helps provide a better um, better engraving dot. So um, that's why I have this here attached to the uh, laser. Okay, well I've got to say this is looking pretty good. Uh, these bits here should actually be white, and they are. So I'm pretty pleased with that. It looks like I've got my alignment right. Um, it's now just a matter of making sure the rest of it uh, is lined up properly. And hopefully when it's done, it'll look uh, the way I intended it. Well, it's finished, let's take a look at it. Well, I've got to say, that's come out really well. I can see the individual lines here of the roofing iron, corrugated iron. I don't need my glasses on now. Um, This is looking really good. It looks like I got my alignment correct. This here looks like it's followed correctly. That has come out really well. Okay, so this is the final result and it didn't come out too bad. I put a coat of varnish on it just to make sure that uh, I wasn't gonna be brushing my uh, engraving away. And let me just say off the, straight off that it was entirely my fault that that happened in the first place. I should have engraved it a lot darker than I did. I wasn't sure what this wood required and um, I got it entirely wrong. So the real question was though, could I reset the laser to the material and re-engrave it? If it had been a square or a rectangle, triangle, octagonal, anything with an external flat side for reference, then I would have said maybe. Being a circle, that put a whole new dimension on it. And I think at the end of the day, uh, I managed to uh, get it to work for me, so I'm really happy on that score. So it just goes to show, if uh, if you do screw up a laser engraving, you can always give it another go and uh, reset it back to the table, and hopefully it'll work out for you. All that remains for me to do is to thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, but ring that bell for notifications of all new episodes. I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.